We're very pleased with what happened in 2012. Our earnings are up, our volume was up, we increased our dividend, our EBITDA margins increased. Just a very, very good year. We continue to be, remain to be focused on our uh, operational excellence, on our risk management, on our project controls, and we are really focused on bringing our backlog into the bottom line. The volume was up a bit, but the improvement in EBITDA was significant. We went from $147 million of EBITDA in 2011 to $172 million in 2012. We increased our dividend 14% from $0.28 cents to $0.32 cents a share. So from a financial point of view, very strong year all around. In addition to that, we accomplished uh, many successes. In 2012, we finished the Quito Airport project that we've been working on for almost a decade. We finished the Auto Route A30 in Montreal we've been working on for the last four years. We won uh, many awards for our safety performance. We um, got a 99% uh, safety rating from the um, Infrastructure uh, Safety Association. We, are one, we were named one of the top 50 employers for the sixth year in a row in Canada. We launched Acon University and that's getting going now uh, in a big way in 2013. So many, many different achievements across the board indicating momentum and confidence in the future. A very strong organization. Look forward to a very strong 2013. We believe that the backlog that we are obtaining, that the focused um, uh, operational excellence that we've been able to develop, that the cross-fertilization between our activities east and west, and that the margins that we now have in the backlog that we have all give me confidence to repeat that uh, our target is, uh, is to reach 9% of EBITDA in 2015. So on the energy side, big hydroelectric construction opportunities across the country, a significant cogen uh, gas-fired uh, electricity production facilities, nuclear refurbishment in Ontario and renewables. So we're seeing more and more opportunities in renewables both on the solar and the, the wind side. In the mining opportunities, significant uh, commitments already made, significant uh, announcements and just in the last few days I've heard of some projects that have been tentatively postponed that are now coming back to life. We see billions of dollars in uh, new mining installations and some existing mining activities as we have in the oil sands continuing. In the infrastructure side, significant projects right across Canada in transportation, and that would be roads and bridges and tunnels, transit increasingly in many different uh, large cities across the country, social infrastructure, which includes utilities, distributions, and so on, and then major pipeline opportunities. On the energy side, I should add that there are large transmission opportunities as well that we will be bidding on in the next uh, year or so. Very simple, we have the four P's. The four P's are people, profitability, partnerships, and processes. The people part, very, very clear, safety first. We want to make sure that every one of our employees is safe every day. People is also about development, about the learning culture, about the opportunity for growth, about uh, the blossoming of each one of our employees. Profitability, obviously, that 9% EBITDA target in 2015 is something that uh, we never lose sight of and we continue to be entirely focused on. In terms of the partnerships aspect, we will be growing partnerships, not only in our recurring revenue opportunities for long-term soft backlog. We'll also be growing our partnerships with respect to our international partners, our partnerships with our clients, and we will be focused on broadening those relationships so that we can continue to grow in addition to our core capabilities. And lastly, the processes are the most important part other than the people part, and that is focused on discipline, focus on risk management, project controls, and just making sure that every step of the way we're always focused on that bottom line.